And we are back on Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Shanafel, and I am now joined by Chicago Bears defensive end, Chetto Zugwu. Thanks for joining the show uh, today, Chetto. How's it going? It's going pretty good, man. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, my pleasure. I want to start this interview off uh, talking a little bit about your college days. I see you attended Rice University located in Houston, Texas. What made you want to attend Rice? Well, yeah, I'm born and raised in Houston, Texas, and uh, you know, Rice was literally 20 miles from where I grew up at. Um, I'm really big. My parents are really big when it comes to academics, and Rice is a really good uh, academic school. So they gave me the opportunity to play football early. You know, they gave me the opportunity to start as a freshman, so I could get the best of both worlds. You know, be able to uh, pursue my my academics at a high level as well as uh, play early. So it was a uh, it, it was a smart decision. Now, right now, I'm a senior in high school, and you know, I won't be attending Rice University. I'll be attending Columbia College, Chicago. But uh, can you can you tell me overall, like, how your college experience was? You know what? It was great. You know, one thing I love about Rice is it's very diverse. They have a lot of different uh, cultures there, and um, it allowed me to interact with a whole bunch of different kind of people. So that was great. And also uh, at Rice, you know, like I said before, I was able to play early. Um, that was big. You know, we're, we're a smaller conference than Conference USA. How we were able to get that, uh, get that uh, uh, big school feeling at times when we play our non-conference games and stuff like that. So um, that was great as well. So I mean, Rice, Rice, it's a, it's a, it's a tough school in terms of academics, but it's that's definitely worth it. All right, Chada, uh, you, you weren't the biggest name player entering the 2011 NFL Draft as you were selected with the last pick in the seventh round, pick 254. Now, I have an audio clip of uh, your name being called up to the podium. After I play that quick audio clip, do you mind telling us what that moment was like for you? Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah. All right, cool. Here we go. Cheddar. It was a moment Chetta had dreamed of for a while. Right, I don't know if you're able to hear that too well, but obviously, <laughs> obviously the guy he wasn't able to pronounce your name. But in the attempt, how was that moment for you just to hear your name uh, get called up to the NFL uh, draft podium? I mean, well, first of all, I was I was shocked that he was able to pronounce my name right. I mean, he hit it right on the nail. All right. And uh, and also, man, I mean, it, it was a blessing, man. It was a long wait. You know, the draft three days and. I thought I'll go a little bit earlier, but I didn't. But everything happens for a reason, and I was just happy to get my name called, man. And and once I found out I was the last pick in the draft, and they told me all the all the festivities that comes with it, I was, I was just like, wow! <laughs> I didn't expect it at all. Yeah, Mister Irrelevant. What what does that mean to you? You know, on the on the jersey they're holding up there on the podium, it's pick. It has the Houston Texans jersey with two fifty four, and it says Mister Irrelevant because you're picked last. What is? What do you think about that? I mean, it, I, honestly, I didn't know anything about it but until, like I said, when I got picked. But um, that's basically something they do every year to uh, to do something nice for somebody for no reason. That's like the, the model behind it. And so they you know, took my family and friends out to Cali for a week. They gave me a bunch of gifts uh, out in Newport Beach, man. I mean, it was it was unbelievable. But the commissioner gave me a watch. It was it was, it was great, man. I got a bunch of gifts. Uh, it was a great experience. Met a lot of different uh, people that I still keep in contact today. Uh, me, Christian Koye, which was pretty cool. And um, yeah, I mean, it was you know at the, at the end of the day, you know, it's not necessarily about where you get picked. It's you know what you do once you get picked. So I wasn't necessarily a uh, Upset about it, I just wanted to prove that, hey, I belong to the team, I can play the league. Now, now, you say you get a trip to California, the commissioner gives you a watch, you get all these gifts, it, it kind of sounds like you're the number one overall pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything but the signing bonus, you know, there's only their stuff. Yeah. I, I would have traded my signing bonus for Cam to the heartbeat. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it, 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 was, it, was, it was great. I mean, I, like I said, it was unexpected. I didn't know what's coming. And uh, the love and support that I got out there, I still keep in contact with the family. That there's a lot of family that that, that runs the Rails and Week does every year. Um, yeah, I mean, it was an experience that I wouldn't trade for anything. Now, Chada, you were drafted by the Houston Texans. You said that you were born and raised in Houston. What was it like to, you know, be drafted by the team, you know, right there at home? I mean, it was great, literally. Like, I had a shorter commute from, uh, 
to literally from Rice to, to the Texans, it was like what, the time I had across the street of that facility. So, I mean, it, it was great to be in the same uh, vicinity for like eight, well, five years, basically. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it was great. It was truly a blessing. Uh, it was unfortunate I wasn't there long enough, but um, you know, everything happens for a reason. I learned a lot while I was there. And, uh, and yeah. And what was that first NFL practice like for you at the Houston Texans? You know, it was it was really just crazy. That was the lockout year, and so we weren't able to have like the traditional mini camps and all that kind of stuff. We were able to learn the system and stuff like that. So we're just going in, you know, in the fire early. But it was you know it, it was great. I was able to like before I got drafted, I was already working out with a couple of guys on the team, and they really helped me out in terms of what they expect and stuff like that. So the transition was pretty smooth. Now maybe it was it was with the Houston Texans or it was maybe even with the Chicago Bears. Have you ever had that moment yet in your career when you're thinking to yourself, "Okay, wow, I'm in the NFL." And if so, can you tell us about that? I would say literally it was one of my, my first day I was there, you know, and, and you're in the locker room with with guys that you, you know that you grew up watching on TV like Andre Johnson and those guys. Um, yeah, I mean, that, I mean, that was kind of like the moment, per se, where I was like, wow, this, I mean, I'm actually in the NFL. So, yeah, I, I, think, I think that was it. All right, and when you were weighed by the Houston Texans, uh, did you ever think you'll get another shot in the NFL? I thought I would. You know, I, I hurt my foot. I uh, had an injury something with the team, and um, uh, I really had my butt off, you know, and I was just... Just waiting for the opportunity for, for somebody to pick me up. I, I, I knew what happened. I just didn't know when. And so I was fortunate enough uh, for, the, for the Bears to give me the opportunity. And I just made the, the, the most of it. You guys are listening to Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Shanfeld, talking with Chicago Bears defensive end, Cheda Ozugwu. I, I got the name right, right? Yeah, yeah, you got it right. All right, cool. Uh, Cheda, after being weighed by the Texans, you signed with the Chicago Bears, a team known for their defense. And even when you entered the team, we had Erlacher, we still have Peppers, Briggs, Tillman, you know, still a lot of big-name guys. We still have a great defense. How excited were you to, you know, make a name for yourself in Chicago? You know, it was, it was, it was, it was a heck of a ride. I mean, uh, when I first got there, I never had a upfield battle to make the team, and uh, there's a couple of guys that really helped me out uh, to the show me the ropes. Pep, Pep did a, a great job with me, just working with me and uh, showing me how to be a better pro and how to be a better pass rusher. Uh, Moby Coy, when I got there, man, uh, he, he was in Houston with me as well, and uh, he definitely helped me out. But just to be a part of this defense was, 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 was unbelievable. I mean, we had a great year defensively. Um, you know, what, what Tina did was, was great. I mean, it was under us. Just learning from from Lovey and, and Coach Marinelli, man, that was truly a blessing. That was probably the best thing to, to happen to uh, to my career. And it was almost a year ago in the preseason, you led the team in sacks. Now I know it's only preseason, but what was it like to get that first career sack on former Bears quarterback Caleb Haney? What was that like for you? Yeah, you know, honestly, I didn't even know that he played for the Bears. I mean, I just I, I really I just wanted to hit the guy. <laughs> you know, so I mean. I mean, that, that was, that was my, 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 my goal that game was to just play my butt off, to play like it's my last down, you know, and, and, and I just want to go out there and show what I can do. And so, I mean, it, it was great to, uh, 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 to get that first sack. You know, once you get the first sack, so, okay, I know I can do that. And so, uh, throughout the rest of the preseason, everything just came naturally. Now, according to ChicagoBears.com, it said that you signed a one-year contract with the Chicago Bears. Are you back in Chicago right now? Are you going to be with the Bears as of right now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I re-signed with them, and I, uh, uh, I'll be back. I signed another one year there, so I'll be back this year. All right, that's great news, man. Uh, Chayda, we hear all these stories all the time about the sixth, seventh round draft picks or even the undrafted players going out and making a name for themselves. What is it about Chayda Ozugwu that people should look out for? I mean, one thing that I, I pride myself at, and that's just working hard. You know, every day I'm gonna come with the, the with, with, with great work ethic, ethic, and the, and put my best foot forward every day. And so, I mean, I, I don't necessarily like to uh, uh, think too long term. I like to take things a day at a time, and, and each day I'm gonna go out there and grind to my best ability and give and, and do the best with what uh, with the ability God gave me. Sounds good, and you said you're still with the Bears. You signed a one-year deal with them. Workouts began, I believe, on Tuesday. How are those going? Exactly. They're going well. You know, we're, 
that it's a transition to get used to all the coaches and stuff like that. Everything's going well, and uh, we're getting after it. And earlier I mentioned that the leader of the team for 13 uh, seasons, Brian Erlacher, was no longer a part of the team. How did you take that news? You know, I was, I was, I was sad like everybody else. You know, Erlacher, he, when I first got there, he, he showed me the, the most respect. You know, he uh, uh, was, you know, a great leader. Um, one, of the, one of the guys I was at the spa on the slaves, always cracking jokes, made his team with the bear fun. Uh, so, I mean, it was, it was, it was very... Uh, Sad to see him go, and I wish him the best. And of course, with Lovey Smith being let go, you have a new head coach in Mark Trestman. Have you gotten a chance to meet your new head coach? Yeah, he's, a, he's a great guy, a really detailed, a really sharp guy. Uh, and I look forward to uh, 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 developing a strong relationship with him. All right, Che, let's switch it up real quick. Before I let you go, I'm going to ask you just a few quick, fun questions. Does that sound good? Let's go. Let's go. All right, Che Ozugu, what is your favorite TV show and movie? All right, favorite thing to eat. You're a defensive lineman, so I know you love the food, man. <laughs> man, I love food, man. I eat a lot. Uh, my favorite food has to be pasta. I eat spaghetti like at least three times a week. Oh, so, man. Yeah, pasta, yeah. Yeah, pasta, that's the best. I, I kid you not. Right before we started this interview, I just had about two plates of lasagna. I <laughs> <laughs> man, it's bad. Except for football, what is your favorite sport? <sighs> you know, I just started playing golf. Uh, a couple of years ago, man. I mean, I, I love the game. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm a scratch golfer, but you know, I'm trying to get there. If you can meet any famous person, who would that be? Be any famous person. You know, I, I don't think there's anybody I, I really would like to meet. But I would say um, there is a gospel singer by the name of Fred Hammond. I really want to you know, meet him. All right, you're on Twitter. I believe your handle is at Cheda underscore Ozugwu. Why do you make it important to connect with your fans? You know what I mean? I just I, I really want to uh, uh, just reach out to them and uh, in any way that I can, you know, uh, fill me in on what we go through as athletes. You know, that'd be great. And I uh, love interacting with people. All right, and last but not least, what is something about Cheda Ozugwu that many people do not know? Do not know. Uh, let me see. Well, I love to play piano. Hmm. Everyone, everybody sees me. I'm a big guy. I don't think I can play piano, but uh, I, I, I grew up playing classical music. So, yeah. So, yeah I'm a piano player, man. All right. Sounds good. And, Cheda, once again, I really appreciate your time on the show today. It was a great honor to have you on. Before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to plug on the uh, air for myself and our listeners? I mean, that's, uh, I'm happy to be here, man. And, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to great things for this upcoming season. Hey, hope to stay in touch, and I'll definitely see you in a uh, training camp in Bourbonnais this summer. We'll do. Take it easy, man. All right, take care.